Finland has officially become the 31st member of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO. Um, Finland and Sweden, in response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, began the process of attempting to become a part of NATO. And while Sweden is still being blocked, we'll get to more on that in a little bit, Finland has officially become a part of NATO. Here from CBS News, Finland became the 31st member of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization on Tuesday, welcoming the newest member state. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said uh, after a ceremony in Brussels that both Finland and the NATO alliance were stronger and safer for it having joined. And then we'll take a look at here um, this being reported by BBC has officially joined NATO, becoming its 31st member. Uh, let's listen to the announcement made just a few minutes ago. We have to ensure our done in the uh, right and proper way, so Secretary Lincoln, please have the floor. Well, Secretary General, Mr. Minister, uh, I'm delighted to report that just a few moments ago, uh, Turkey deposited with me on behalf of the United States uh, Turkey's ratification of the uh, instrument uh, of uh, acceding uh, to the uh, protocol uh, for uh, Finley's accession to, uh, to NATO. And with the receipt and submission uh, of that protocol, uh, I can say that the protocol is now in force. Thank you so much. This is uh, great news, uh, Secretary Blinken. And uh, with that, uh, I can actually then uh, hand over to you, uh, Minister Havisto, the, the formal invitation uh, on behalf of all uh, allies for the Republic of uh, Finland to accede to the North Atlantic uh, Treaty. So please. Thank you. So there it is. Uh, this more than doubles NATO's land border uh, with Russia. Take a look at this. You can see here uh, member states that joined before 1991 on this map. And then here uh, states that joined after 1991. And then, of course, Finland in 2023 with Sweden's application pending uh, uh, again more than doubling NATO's land border with Russia. To read just a little bit um, more here from CNN, Finland's acceptance into the U.S.-led security alliance presents a blow to Russian President Vladimir Putin, who has long sought to undermine NATO and, before invading Ukraine, demanded the bloc refrain from further expansion. The invasion instead drove non-aligned Finland and Sweden to abandon their neutrality and seek protection within NATO. Though Sweden's attempt to join the bloc has been stalled by alliance members Turkey and Hungary. So as it just said, Turkey and Hungary are the reasons that Sweden has not yet been successful in joining NATO. Um, and then it writes, but Russia has warned that further NATO expansion will not bring more stability to Europe. And on Monday said it would scale up forces near Finland if the alliance sent any troops or equipment to the new member country. Quote, we will strengthen our military capabilities in the West and Northwest if NATO members deploy forces and, and uh, equipment on Finnish territory, the Russian deputy foreign minister said. And then a Kremlin spokesperson said, um, this will force Moscow to, quote, take countermeasures to ensure our own security, both tactically and strategically. But this is something I support Finland joining uh, NATO, absolutely, and Sweden. You can see why these countries, um, especially Finland, would urgently be wanting to um, have the protection that NATO provides with what is going on. In Ukraine, Russia invading um, Ukraine, but truly big stuff. We'll see how Sweden's application uh, process moves forward. And like I said, something I support. So it's good that it ended up happening.